It's no longer news that Britain has voted to leave the European Union and Prime Minister Theresa May will trigger Article 50 in a few days to begin the withdrawal process. What's news, however, is how Brexit will affect Africans living in the United Kingdom and those hoping to go to the UK. Experts say it's unclear what exactly a post-Brexit immigration policy would look like, but many analysts are saying that controls are bound to be tighter. Now, to get more on this story, we're now being joined by a UK-based immigration lawyer, Dayo Fadino. You're welcome to the program. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Yeah. Prime Minister Theresa May is expected to trigger Article 50 at the end of this month. How do you expect Brexit to affect Nigerians and other African migrants living in the UK? Um, actually, what's going to be happening um, is um, when Theresa May um, triggers Article 50, um, in roughly about a week's time, is that uh, in between now and about and, uh, 18, two years' time, uh, before the um, UK leaves the, leaves, leaves the EU, um, the immigration rules and regulations and the human rights legislation would still be applicable to so many Africans and Nigerians. Um, so they do not particularly need to worry very much uh, in between now and two years' time. But after the UK uh, eventually exits uh, the EU, um, I could actually see uh, a fundamental change of so many immigration rules um, and uh, human rights leg legislation to reflect uh, both uh, the EU citizens living in the UK and uh, the non-EU citizens living in the UK. And I would expect those rules to be quite strict, quite draconian. Um, so, but in between now and uh, two years' time, um, before the UK ex exits the uh, EU, there would not be so much uh, uh, change, really, regarding the immigration rules and regulations. Um, the situation right now is that there are so many Africans, so many Nigerian Africans, who are quite, you know, concerned, you know, and uh, anxious about what could happen uh, when uh, this is when the um, 50 is triggered. Uh, but for now, they just need to uh, just keep calm, uh, seek the proper legal advice if they need to, to uh, know what their rights are really as far as uh, the Brexit uh, situation is concerned. Now, there are so many African migrants who have spent years in the United Kingdom but are yet to regularize their stay due to one reason or the other, and now they face the threat of deportation. Is there any help for people in this category? Uh, indeed, there, there is. Um, in fact, uh, it's um, considerably worrying that there are millions of Africans in the UK who are not indeed who are not exploring so many possibilities of uh, being able to stay in the UK, even if you have you've been illegal uh, in the UK or you've been an overstayer for some time in the UK. I'll just quickly run through just a few of them. Uh, one, uh, if you've been living in the UK and you've uh, lived illegally or an overstayer in the UK, there's what's called the seven years rule. If you have a seven year old child, um, and that child was either born in the UK or brought into the UK and the child has lived in this country for, for seven years. Those kind of immigrants, even if they've been living in this country for so many years, could make an application for leave to remain. If you're an illegal entrant or an overstayer, you have a British child, you could actually make use of the rules and regulations. If you're a wife partner of a British citizen or EU, you could also make use of uh, the immigration rules and regulations to make an application for this to remain, even if, you are, if you've been overstaying. There's also what's called the 20 year rule, uh, where if you've been in this country for so many years, you can well, at least make an application for limited leave to remain. Uh, there are people in between the ages of 20, 18 and 25. If you are in between the ages of 18 and 25 and you've lived in the UK for more than half of your life, again, you could explore the possibility of making an application. If you've lost ties, okay. with, um, your, if you've lost lost ties with your country of origin for so many years, uh, there could be a situation whereby you could make an application based on exceptional uh, compassionate grounds uh, for the uh, for living right, in many So I mean, you've got all these uh, possibilities. So my advice to anybody is to explore these possibilities if you've been overstaying, because I know I'm talking to hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of, Afri of, of, of uh, potential applicants who could make uh, use of these rules. There's also the uh, asylum angle, where if you feel you 
you'll be prosecuted if, if you return to your country of origin. Uh, you can make an application for leave to uh, remain based on an asylum situation. We are talking of political reasons, uh, religious okay. reasons. Okay, um, Dayo, Dayo Fadina, thank you so much for joining us on Network Africa. It's been an interesting discussion, but I have to let you go now.